So who knows what unit in math knowledge this is from? Or if you want to just give me the name of the topic at hand, that works too. What is it that we're looking at? What topic is this? That's right, Lambda. And if you don't know how to spell it correctly, Pythagorean theorem, unless you want to just short code it to be first. Either way, it works. But this is going to be Pythagorean theorem, math knowledge, unit 10. Yep, that's going to be under unit 10, which is pure geometry. And this is Pythagorean theorem. This is the Pythagorean theorem. As if anybody here is confused, make sure that you ask yourself this one question. Do you remember this formula from anywhere? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Who remembers that formula? There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. That's the formula that applies here. Before we continue, just wanna take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate. Stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description. That way you see how it works. And then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. Remember that the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All that means is if you have a right triangle, which is exactly what we have here, that means it's a right angle. That right there means we're dealing with a right angle. And so because of that, this is a right triangle. This is a right triangle. This is a right triangle. So because of this, we can apply the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now, A and B don't really matter. A and B are just the sides that are not the long one. So this is A, this is B, and C right over here is always the longest side. It's always the longest side. There it is. As long as you know that, and again, with a little bit of practice, this is gonna become very quick work for you, I promise you. But once you have that down and actually have the chance to practice, all you do from here is plug in and you solve. So here we go. If A is X, I'll just go ahead and write it as X and then squared. Then we have B squared, so that's gonna be four squared. Notice how A squared is an X, only A is X. There's still that square, that power of two, you have to bring that along. And then lastly, for C on the other side, we have five, so that'll be five squared. So we have to know how to plug it in first. Gotta know how to plug it in. From there, okay, let's go ahead and zoom on in. Let's put in some work here. Everybody, let's simplify first. Remind me, what is four squared gonna be? What is four squared gonna be? Four squared is gonna equal 16, that's right. So that's gonna give us x squared plus 16 equals, everyone, what's five squared gonna be? Remember, squaring means you're multiplying that number by itself two times. Four squared means four times four, that's 16. If we took a look now here at five squared, that's gonna be five times five, and that's gonna be 25. Right there. So now that we're here, well, this looks like an equation. This looks like something we can work backwards with and solve now, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Step one, get rid of that 16. Everyone, we see that we're adding a 16 currently, so what is it that we're gonna do to both sides? Zaro, exactly, perfect, perfectly stated. Subtract 16 from both sides, minus 16 from both sides, that works. Right there, right there, bam. 
That's gone, and now we have x squared equals what? x squared equals what? That's going to be 9. That's right. Booyah. And are we done? Is, is that the answer, 9? No. Some of us might think yes, and that's why some of us might have accidentally picked 9 as the answer. That is wrong. That is wrong. 9 is not the answer because you are not done. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ass bad party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. You are not done because x squared equals 9. Just basic, basic fundamental fact that we know. The equation's not solved unless you get the variable by itself. x is not by itself. That is x squared, not just x. That's x squared. That means that whatever x is, if you multiply it by itself, you're gonna get 9. So, you can either think about that logically or you can work backwards to get that done because the opposite of squaring is going to be taking the square root. Square root, again, just means what number times itself gives you that other number. And so with that said, booyah, that cancels out because squaring and square rooting are the opposite operations. They cancel out. And so what we have here is x equals 3 because three times three is nine. And that's our answer. That's where you stop. And if you're having some PTSD about going to MEPS, seeing a question like this, and then feeling like you are questioning everything in your existence right now, don't worry. That's why you're in the program, so you can notice these moments and not make the mistakes on the real deal. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.